Okay. Should we try that again? <laughs> Let's try that again. Welcome to 7 Days to Die, my 49-day run on the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. We've been running around for, like, what, uh, a few minutes here now, and I didn't have the mic turned on. Now it's on. Sorry about that. We are going to be doing a Tier 4 Clear tonight. And from what I understand, and if you guys can confirm it for me or not, it would be great. I have to do it between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. It has to be done at night. So this is the one we're going to be doing right here. It's clicked already, but we haven't activated it. So we're going to do this one tonight. Uh, John of Wales is agreeing that that is definitely a thing. John Morris, John of Wales, thank you, Morris, for being here. Thanks for being here. So that's our target tonight. We'll take care of that one this evening at midnight or at 10 p.m. We're going to be back here by like, I guess, 9.30 or so. Hey, Lois. Oh. Oh, wow. He's feral. Look at this guy. He is feral as can be. Feral, feral, feral. You don't see many of the big guys feral during the day running around. He was definitely on his way to us. Yeah, we've done these guys here, I believe. All right, cool. That is our target for tonight. You know what I should really do is... Well, we've got a treasure map as well. I can activate the treasure map, I think, without taking any penalty, right? I believe I can. Like the sun's going to come out. If I go here and Claude's treasure map and toggle active, I should be able to do that then. Uh, the treasure map's over there. Let's go to our map. How far away is that? Claude's treasure map is up by Jen. South of Jen. Okay, Jen's town south, huh? All right, let's take a little ride. We'll go do the treasure and then be back here. I don't know that I've got too many chores around the house to do. We've got the farm. Really what I do need, and I think I mentioned it and I didn't have the mic on for, for you know, just because I did something. Anyways, um, <laughs> I do need to get metal and uh, stone. I should really do that and have it cooking. We've got a little bit of metal going right now and some steel, but that's about it. We had a nice little horde come in overnight. And there are some damages to the horde base that need fixing. But we don't have to do that just yet. Let's just take a drive. Just drive, take a drive in the Jeep. I've got gas on me. I've got a lot of stuff ready for tonight. I'm, think, I'm thinking what I need to make sure I have is um, maybe a couple of extra medical kits or something with me. Uh, so if I do... Because they're going to be running. Everyone's going to be running. We're, we're, I don't know, I don't know. If we're, we've had a couple of ferals pop up here and there. I'm assuming we'll see some ferals. Probably some cops in there. And if I have to get noisy and use guns, uh, which we have no silencers for, um, we could be drawing in zombies from nearby coming in as well. So it can get hairy real quick. I do have our auto turret, which is a nice thing to have. Let's check the map real quick. Where is this again? Oh, looks like it's up in the farming district there. So I think we can probably get through by if we take this here dirt road, this little here dirt road. It should be interesting. I've never managed to do one of these before, so it's going to be fun to try. Looks like it's uh, they buried the treasure in a in a field. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> we got some piggies. Yeah. Swine slaughter. Oh, the dude just running over the piggies. Swine. 
pigs, you know? They must have been in that field. Heard us coming, huh? <laughs> Good, juicy. Juicy little pork. Little pork. We'll salt it up. Be cool if they had a dry rack, huh? That'd be kind of awesome. Alright, we don't need any of you on us right now. And I do have, uh, as you can see, our turret, which is pretty nice. Oh, I've got meat. I got meat in my pocket, too. Uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go see about this thing. I, this is the treasure map. I believe I'm going to have to break into it. All I've got is my shovel with me, but, you know. We'll do the best we can with the shovel here. I did not bring the... Um, um, auger with me. Sometimes you just feel like digging. With the shovel. And not having that loud auger in your ear. To be honest, it is kind of nice to not have the auger on right now. It does go much faster. Hey, did you stop working? Might be too far away from me. It's a little too far away from me. You know what? I don't think this is actually going to... This doesn't have the thing where the... This, never mind. I never get... I, I always forget which one is which. You know, one of them has the zombies that come after you every time you make the circle get smaller. I think that's retrieve the supplies. Where this one is literally just somebody's treasure chest underground here. With uh, no strings attached other than the fact you've got to break into it. Auger is the master key. It is. It's nice for the even even the um, you know the box. You can grind through a box pretty quick too with it. Uh, looks to me like we're kind of in the right area. We'll just keep going this way, I guess. Maybe not. Hey Chase Bank, good afternoon, how are you? Yeah, I should have the auger, I guess I should. Uh, this is nice though, I'm, am I getting, I'm not getting, oh, 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 oh. Careful now, radio, you're taking some damage there from falling debris. I'm supposed to have uh, less of a chance of that happening, I thought. All right, where's this, where's this hole at? I, I, I need to go this way more, I think. All right, we'll take a look and see. Definitely shrinking in towards the house, unfortunately. I bet we wind up digging up right underneath that sucker. New problemo, thanks for being here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Braddy's home. She's not feeling too good today, so she took a day off. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, maybe if you weren't at the stream this morning, you, you wouldn't know, but we had um, work scheduled Saturday, but the guy that was going to do the work Saturday didn't do it until Monday. And so with the noise going on at the house, it just didn't make sense to stream yesterday. So that's why I missed Monday. Took the day off. Variety had the day off too, President's Day and all. Uh, I think I'm still going the right way here. There it goes. Well, you know, to be honest, we I have run a little bit low on the clay, so this is not a bad thing, us having to dig up clay. We haven't done a lot of digging at all, really. Um, it's all stone now. Go. We're getting closer. We are literally going all the way across this entire circle here. We started on the wrong side of it. Uh, there's a wall. How crazy would it be if we had to kick break through that wall to get to it? It's here. I'm just going to break this out so it doesn't fall on me. I think I'm going to bust through that wall. Oh, it is. It's part of the wall. That is incredible. 
don't think I've ever seen that before. Huh. That's funny. Um, wait, let's go get the uh, candy. Oh, thanks for confirming for me, too, that... Um, if I have the candy activated... And I've, and I've eaten the candy. Hey, guy. Come here, buddy. If I've, I've activated the candy, I only need one lockpick in my inventory. And as I can open as many things as I want to uh, with that one lockpick. And a whack-a-mole. There we go. I appreciate you dying. <laughs> the heck um hmm <laughs> okay. oh, I love this game it's got some really great stuff in it you know it just does well bunny uh, was getting up on the turrets junk there and it decided to shoot it dead <laughs> all the violence here we go open sesame it was inside the building actually well, I guess we know now that the uh, the treasure map will outrule the building, unless that block was already missing there, which I I doubt. Uh, oh yeah, she works for a credit union. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yeah, Brady works for a credit union. Ooh, all right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what we didn't use much of, Horde Night. I think I turned it on once for just a little bit. Was the uh, the the auto turret? I didn't barely use it. Yeah. Got your guts, buddy. Right there in my pocket. All right, good deal. Bird nest. Eggs. Oh, there we go. I'll take that egg. Oh, we might as well do... Have we... We went by the trader, didn't we? We talked to Jen about... See if her inventory was any different, right? Pretty sure we did. So we grabbed a little bit of loot. A little bit of money. Does this go through? It's tight, but it does go through. There we go. Supercharged, baby. Remember that? We're supercharged. Okay. Day after tomorrow. Day 37, I'm not sure what's happening day 37, because again, we're going to be spending the entire night up. Day 38, maybe? I would like to come and do a Shotgun Messiah. I don't remember this one, and I, I, I love the look of it. It looks like it'll be kind of fun. I would like to come back and do that guy on day 38. Day 38, yeah. Let's go to Jen. I, I, think, we just, I think we stopped by most of the traders, didn't we? Last episode. We got the M60 stuff, right? And we're now we're looking for machine gun parts again. That's what we're doing. We're looking for machine gun parts. She's just down here. She's not very far. I might as well go look. I don't recall. Uh, I think we can actually take a turn here. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's the construction site. I guess she is all the way on the other side of town, huh? Oh, that place almost got me. There's our pillar of blocks from the roof of the garage. That looks like the Adams family house right there, the Munsters. That's a nice building right there. That red out building? That's a nice barn. is on the way on the other side of town, isn't she? I couldn't have put her further away. Did I go past her? I think I might have gone past her. Oh. I was not expecting him to get up again. I think I went, I think I, I I'm, I'm lost. Jen. Yeah. yeah. Look at me. 
They're talking about how I can't find gents because I'm not even anywhere near her. Yeah, Brian and Gypsy are playing Minecraft. Uh, do we have any candies we want to buy? No. And I believe we don't have anything from her either. So what am I going to want to take with me on you this? You the Dukes. I'll make the time. All right. What am I going to want to take with me tonight to make sure I'm ready for a Tier 4 nighttime mission? Granted, it's in the forest, so it shouldn't be too bad, but we can pretty much count on a lot of extra shooting. So rounds are going to be important. Um, machine gun parts. She's got a pipe machine gun. She doesn't have any machine gun parts. M60 machine gun. Well, three, yeah, we talked about doing that. Never mind. Okay. If I had a duke for every time someone was just looking, I'd be as rich as Trader Joel. <laughs> 13 nuggets. That's right. We got some nuggets out of that, didn't we? Yeah, you well. We should stock up on medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. Mm hmm. So, speaking of quiet weapons, I was looking into the silencer. We do not have access to the silencer mod for the assault rifle. We just don't have it. It's not open to us. So, every time I shoot tonight, that's going to be making noise. And to be honest, I don't think the silencer mod in this game is actually a silencer as it is more of a suppressor. It reduces the noise, but it does not stop noise. Right? The silencer is awesome. It's a lot of fun to have on, especially for me, the assault rifle. I love it on the assault rifle. It's just a really good time. But um, we don't have it yet, and we've not found it yet either, so uh, I've got myself uh, kind of weaved. Yeah, 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 ah. Whoa, there we go. Um, so anyways, I'm a little concerned about making a bunch of noise tonight, but at the same time, I don't know. How bad is a tier four going to be? I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to have, like I said, cops, radiated zombies. Everybody's a runner. And then you've got your runners and your ferals mixed together. Uh, or have, you know, they're, they have both. They have both. Um, I guess ferals are always runners. So there's, never mind. But you know what I mean. The, uh, the zombies are stronger at night. I don't do a lot of nighttime zombie fighting, so I think it's going to be interesting. I'm just curious if there's things I should make sure I have to, you know, make sure I'm ready for it. Yeehaw! Oh, nice jump. Get back here and find a zombie inside, just banging the crap out of everything. Wouldn't be a surprise. Grab all of our stuff that we don't need in here. See, I've got a cup. I've got four first aid kits in here, so I feel like I'm okay in that regard. You know, I feel like that's good to have right there. I've got some gas on me too. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. We're taking the jeep tonight. It just makes sense to take the jeep. Uh, that's enough gas in there for it too. Maybe what I should do. Let's keep these extra rounds and these extra rounds in here in case we need them. 29 isn't a lot, but we do have um, our robotic turret. I need to remember that I have him and utilize him. I got into a good habit there uh, of using him every time I walked into a house. I would set him down and he would be ready to go, you know. Uh, actually, just grab those bullet tips and that and let's go ahead. I'm making seven six twos at the moment. Like I mentioned, we didn't use the um, we didn't use the SMG turret very much last horde night, so we just didn't use it much. So there's it, we've got it. It's still pretty loaded with uh, ammunition, which is great. It means we you know conserved on that. And we'll have it for the uh, what I'm going to assume is going to be a tougher horde night coming our way. 
We'll throw that in there. Uh, I've been throwing... One of you mentioned a while back to use the... Uh, the uh, plant fibers in the uh, stoves. The, the campfires. They work really well. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm going to put this in here too. Uh, let's just go ahead and turn all that into sand. There we go. And we got a little bit of clay. Yeah, see, we're back. We're down to just three stacks of clay now. Where before it was two rows. We had like two rows of clay. We had quite a bit. A pretty good amount. And now, not so much anymore. I'm going to throw you in there. Oh, I've got some lead pipes on me as well. And some raw iron. Okay. And we've got some silver. So we've got a little bit of moolah here coming in. And uh, we've got our stuff up here for sale as well. Those are the things that we're going to have for sale. Uh, meat. 70 meat on me. That's good because I've not gotten meat for a while. But it looks to me like we're doing pretty good in the meat category. And I told you guys last time I am making the pumpkin cheesecake. So we have that now available to us. Um, you need beer for the recipe. And that's kind of the, I would think, maybe one of the expensive parts of it. We've got five left. I do have a... It's not a big deal for us. Just it, We do have a hop seed. So I could grow hops if I need to for more beer. But I think we've got the cheesecake to last us a little while. The farm's actually ready to be picked, but I don't feel like picking it. If that makes any sense. I just don't feel like it. Let's grab this stuff out of here and you out of there. There's another thousand of that. Uh, we did have some damage to the horde base, but again, I don't feel like I want to fix it today. I want to be prepared for tonight. In her, she's coming with, because she's also going to give me a warning that there are going to be things coming at me. I think I want to put um, a first aid kit in her, so she's prepared to help me out. She is not on stay. She just follows me. Um, first aid kit. At least one of those on her. That way if I needed to, I'm going to keep her buzzing around me the whole time. And you know what? I'm going to put a vitamin on her too. I'm really bad about remembering to take that stupid vitamin before I go in and start fighting. Or even go into a house. I should always have that vitamin on me. Is she on stay? Maybe she is. Uh, oh, With she, pleasure. Oh, she is on stay. Yeah, sorry. I guess I put her on stay last last night. I was just having her here because otherwise she... Um, yes, she is, of course. She bangs into stuff. And, you know, you're going in and outdoors and she can't quite get through. And it takes her a while to get to you. And then she makes that thumping sound that makes your heart skip a beat because you wonder what the heck's coming through the door. That, that sort of I'll stuff. I'll check it out. You check it out, huh? As if I gave you an order to go do something? Hmm. But yeah, she gets kind of hung up in things because, you know, I jump down here and then I do the double click on the door and then I get out here real fast, throw that in there, and then go back in. She's trying to get to me, you see? She's right there. And then I shut this on her head. Now she's down. Well, I don't know where she is now. She finds her. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she's actually doing a pretty good job today of staying with me. There it is. Uh, enough random PS to do a release, Joel. Nunk257 is talking about how long it's taken for the game to be developed. I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty good game every time it comes out with a new alpha, so uh, I'm pretty happy with it. They're working on it and getting it to where they want it to be for them. I remember when the game first came out, what it looked like. So different compared to where it is uh, today it's amazing so I, I don't care how many alphas they have uh, let's do that right there it's fun getting new stuff every year let's see boom and yeah so the the 7.62's we need to work on getting more of those shotguns are decent and like I said the 9 millimeters are still filling the, um, uh, the L SMG turret out there it, it still has the uh, the rounds in it um, what's her name? I don't know. I asked you guys for ideas. I haven't, I, I always go with like a Jasmine or, you know, something like that. Jasper, um, Cynthia, something fancy maybe. I don't know. What do we call her? Right now, she's just drone. She's just the drone. 
Uh, okay, we're at 124 in the afternoon. What are we going to do for the rest of today? I really need to go down and get some stuff ground up. Some stone and some metal. I really need to get that. I, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I can't resist. I've got to go down underground and get um, some stuff. Jezebel. Yeah, that's what I call my truck. Uh, we could call her Jezebel. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Jezebel is fine. Um, do, oh, you know what? I need Rockbuster candy. I think I've got some out here. Jeep, actually. Give me one of these. We're just going to go down there for one of these candies. It shouldn't take us too long to get what we need. I've got fuel on me. I have no fuel on me. Um, all right, let's go back up. It's not going to do me much good to go down there and not have gas in my pocket, right? There we go. 2,000. That, that, that'll work for a little bit. That'll get me enough uh, stone. I just want to get like a couple stacks of stone and a stack of uh, the iron to get cooking. Needs to be done. Every day I've got to do it now. Uh, we're, we're, we're almost done upgrading the base and we are... Um, we just need more steel so we can do even more upgrades on the, the uh, fight area. And this place is just becoming more and more of a mess. I've got iron here, but that's gonna that's like right under the base, so I don't want to be drilling in here anymore. I feel like it's gonna cave in on me. Uh, so I've been kind of working. This is the lead area, and there was another area with iron. Oh, it's right here. Iron is right here. So this is another one that's kind of getting to be a bit, um, I guess, a little spongy. I feel like we're going to have some collapses going on in, in this area here. I'm not very good at making sure things are taken care of before, you know. Oh, I forget my candy here. I kind of forget to uh, shore things up. get that out of there so I can get up here. What are you doing? Get out of the way, lady. Jezebel? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go Jezebel. That's fine. That's easy for me to remember, too, because since that's what I call my truck. Jezebel. Can I name her? Quiet mode. Look at there. No, that's okay. All right. Jezebel it is. I think it should be pretty helpful tonight. You know, I'm already going to be really nervous going into this whole thing. And I think she'll be uh, kind of helpful. Or she could literally scare the crap right out of me because she's going to start talking and I'm not going to be expecting to hear a voice, right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. We'll go turn those generators on. We'll go help. We'll go help get the power put back on. It'll be fun. Could be my undoing, you know. What do we got? Uh, metal. Okay, we're almost at six thousand. I only want six thousand of this, and then we'll leave. Let's go get some stone. Let's go get some stone. There's a little bit of coal back up in there too, so that's where I go for the coal. Down here, when it comes to the stone, I, I've kind of gone back to going a little further away. We've got some more lead showing right here. Um, I've kind of gone back to here now again and started digging a little further away from the base. Just, uh, I think maybe it was one of you guys that had mentioned that possible of the, the ground caving in underneath me, under my base. God, that would be just absolutely horrible. The whole thing cave in because I, you know, dug out too much stuff. You know, it's possible. It'd 
be horrible. Absolutely horrible. Take my time and don't rush you. Well, see, you say don't rush. <laughs> I can be move. I can move pretty slow. I'm, I'm, I'm not very fast. But the thing is, John of Wales, is that um, I have to be done by 4 a.m. You have to be finished by the time the sun rises, right? So preferably, you know, before three, before 4 a.m. But I guess if I resort to looting afterwards and just get the power restored, no looting, just focus on killing zombies and and getting power restored. Well, that makes me feel better right there. That's only two things I got to do, right? Kill zombies and restore power. It's not so hard. I've never watched anybody do one either. <laughs> so, that's kind of, uh, you know, be fun. Again, the only one I have to go off of is um, a Wasteland one. I think, I think it was like a Tier 2 or Tier 3, but it didn't matter. It was at night in the Wasteland, and I had no silenced weapons. And they just came from everywhere. It was just this mad rush on me. Uh, I got 5,000. I need some more. I need more stone. What if I, what if I go, let's go to options. Audio. Um, ambient sound volume. Is that it? What if I turn all that, all the, that all the way down? That's not it. What do I have it on? 15? Enable dynamic music, daily time a lot, enable voice chat. I don't know which one of these it would be. I guess overall sound volume, if I drop this all the way down, I would be able to just do that, right? Um, and then apply. Oh, that's no fun, huh? That's pretty boring. Yeah, that's that's no fun. I can't do that. That's no good. You gotta have something. <laughs> Back to pretty much what we were. Okay, John says it's a good plan not to loot until afterwards. Yeah, I feel confident about that. I do. I think that's a, I think that's a good idea. Just we've been doing that lately too, where we just go do the whole mission, get the place cleared, and then jump into the loot. Gives us to go a chance to go out to the jeep, drink a little something, eat a little something, you know, just take a take a breath, reload everything, prepare what needs repairing, drop some stuff off. Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing. We'll do it like that. Uh, we got 6,000. I need 5,000 more stone is what I would like to have. We got four and a half minutes left on the candy. We should be able to do that. I feel like I should be going further in. We'll get this stuff cooking and it'll be time to go. Yeah, this thing just goes right through it. It's just amazing. The auger is a uh, really, really handy. Very uh, awesome tool. And if you didn't know, you can use it to open safes and everything else. The only thing it does do is call in the witches or the uh, whatever you want to call them, the witches or the, the screamers. The witches, they, um, it creates a heat signature that they are attracted to. Sometimes when you get back home, there's one outside waiting for you. I was thinking to, uh, the other day, okay, so what do I need my dukes for right now? I just thought, you know, what I would be saving up for right now is the solar power. 
that would be my next. I mean, though they're expensive, right? I mean, it's really expensive. But I'm wondering how many solar panels I would need in order to actually power our little place. We don't have that much stuff hooked up to it, you know? Would it be that expensive? Oh, there's a couple stacks of stone. Let's just grab a little bit more. Another thousand would be nice. I still got 240 left on the candy. I really should grab it. But this is not easy to listen to. the candy. Well, I'm going to waste it. Okay. That's that's good. Uh, we got a pointy one here. Can't leave the pointy ones laying around. Alright, we're going to take that out of here. Do I still have my pickaxe on me? I do. Very good. So, for tonight, we'll take the pickaxe with us. I'm not going to take the auger because, again, it does have that chance of bringing in the, um, you know, the witches. We don't need their help. We don't need a, one of them seeing us screaming and all of a sudden we've got, you know, an extra 15 zombies crawling around. You can have the battery bank with the gen. Uh, yes. Yes, the, we need the solar power bank, right? That's what I need next is the solar power bank and then I need to buy the solar cells. And then we need to have the batteries uh, in a box, right? Don't they get charged? They get charged up by the solar cells. Uh, oh, actually, I guess we got to make the solar panels, right? Well, that's right. The solar panels is what you put the solar cells in. And then that feeds to a battery bank that's collecting the power from the batteries. And for the batteries, you can put a relay out, run from the battery bank to the relay, and then provide that to the power to your base. You can have a Jenny backup attached to it as well. That's how I remember it. Pretty cool stuff, too. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Looks like we got a little gold nugget down the old digging down there today. Here we go. Is it is it storming? Is it raining? What is it doing out here? It's raining, but... This would be Arizona for you, too. Maybe it just finished? I don't know. It seemed like it was raining. I like having the doors open when I'm home. And the windows, too. Just let that fresh air blow right through here. You know, the fumes and all. <laughs> oh, man. It would be just... Ugh. I don't know. I like my place. I do. We're going to do a thousand sand in here. And we're going to do a thousand in here, too. There you go. Get mixed sand. Okay. And we've got you. Uh, we're going to leave that there. Concrete powder. Uh, we're going to take you and put you in there, and we're going to split that in half again and put that in there. Okay, and over here, we are going to do, yep, you're right there, and you're right there. And we're going to turn you back on. 20 minutes, huh? Uh, yeah, sure, that sounds good. Do we, can we make cement? Uh, 48, huh? All right, well, let's get the 48 going. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's push. Let's turn that off. Let's cancel that. Let's put these on. Our nerdy glasses will make that go a lot faster. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We'll go for half that time because we're going to leave the house. I don't want stuff burning here at the house while we're gone. I guess I'll take the rest of this and put all of it in, and we'll just get rid of it. We'll just use it up. Sand and more sand. Okay, perfect. We've almost got enough to do this right here. Just about. I got a little bit more metal on me, too. Hello, Jezebel. Uh, we're going to take you and put you in there, and we're going to put you in there, and we're going to get this guy cranked up as well. Oh, thank you for letting me do this with you guys on stream. I know it's not exciting stuff, but man, it sure is nice to get this going here again. I hate not having them working, you know. They gotta, they've got to be working. Work, work, work. I think we've got it taken care of, too. 
Cement. Did you have any cement in you? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Okay. That's that. All right. And then we got the uh, coal here, which I think we're going to have to run out and get some nitrate. I'm running low on gunpowder. We're almost out of it, as a matter of fact. Uh, 220. We might as well be out of gunpowder. So I'm going to have to go over to that nitrate vein that's across the street from us here and uh, grab some nitrate out of the ground from over there uh, where we went last time. Drop that in there. The auger can go back in here. I've got a little bit of extra fuel, but I feel like if I put that in the Jeep right now, it's probably better for it. Uh, yeah, it sucked up the rest of that. What are you at? 80%? What a gas hog, man. This thing is a gas hog. 2,500 gallons right there. Boom. 2,500 gallons. <laughs> Jeez. That's, that's just a pig. That is a pig right there. Um, geez, I thought this was going to last me a little while, but man, I think that's all the gas I got left now. That's it. Yeah, you burned through it for sure. So we were talking earlier about the silencer, and I just don't have that one yet. Silencer mod. Yeah, I don't have it. It looks like it's a book, so I'm just got to wait till we see the book. You know, I got to have the book. Sound suppressor. Now it says silencer. But it's a sound suppressor. Greatly reduces the firing sound, but reduces maximum range and damage. Works best with small calibers and guns with a low rate of fire. Will not work on a revolver. So this is not a silencer, though. It is a suppressor. Um, hmm. Does not... Low rate of fire, huh? So a sniper rifle or a handgun, better. Well, not a revolver, but uh, one of the 9 mils would work pretty great with that. It doesn't suggest putting it on the, the uh, tactical assault rifle. Although I noticed the tactical assault rifle has burst. It burst shoots where you just don't have a whole bunch of bullets just pouring out of the gun like the AK. This one has a burst to it. Muzzle brake mod is what I've got on here. Diverts the propellant gases to reduce recoil. Yeah, that's for recoil and that's just to give me extra rounds in the, chain, in, in the clip there, so... Yeah, okay. All right. I, I think I'm ready, really, to go and, and do it. Uh, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, maybe since, you know, I'm looking for things to do. That's just it. This game has got it set up for where you, you've got a little bit of time for each of these things each day. Like, we've got all this stuff fired back up again. Everything's going just nice and smooth right there. Okay. Now, you know what? We, we've got time. Let's go ahead and let's take care of our food. I mean, why the heck not, right? Why would you not take care of your food? I keep thinking I'm not going to do it, but you got to do it. There's enough stuff here to keep you busy each day, it seems like. Just perfectly. I mean, look at that backdrop over there, right? The city. The city. The city that we used to shop in. Go to parties in. Hang out at the bar. This is my town. It now belongs to the zombies. I live alone in a concrete castle. Well, I've got a neighbor, which is pretty nice. You know, Joel has never invited me over at night. <laughs> Did I open that from here? Wait a minute. Did I open that? How'd it do that? It went down. Did I forget to close it? Could have sworn I just saw that go down. Yucca seed. One. Ah, pumpkin seeds I need all... Oh, man. I need four. Gives me, like, no pumpkins left, man. Four. I need uh, six of these. I've been trying to get the aloe built up a little bit. And uh, the game is uh, fighting me all the way. And in order to, for me to do my mushrooms, I need the clay in my inventory. Hello, Jezebel. Clay, please. There we go. And mushrooms. I got four. I need six more. Golly, man. You just, you know. 
Recipes, mushrooms, all right, all right, that's fine. Craft them up, got 36 mushrooms left. That's all I get. Seed, 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 seed. All right. Let's get these guys put in first. No, 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 I don't want you on the ground. That, that was a mistake, that was a mistake. Get this out of here. Oh, ouch. There we go. There we go. I decided to only grow the things that I'm actually using at the moment. Well, Instead of growing everything, it's like, you know, I really don't need this growing or I don't need that growing. Like corn, I got so much corn, doesn't I, I'm not using it for anything. I made some, I made cornmeal the other day. I did make some cornmeal the other day so I could make those plaster casts. But other than that, I'm not really using corn for anything. Now, if we had the super corn, we could be making fuel with that. Maybe that's what we should go do also is Bob's boars. I mean, just out of respect to the game, you should go do Bob's boars, right? I mean, kind of, sort of. Uh, that's not a bad idea. We just have to look to see where it was. I'm not doing it today, but that is something we should probably do. Uh, shotgun. I figure if I've got to use a weapon while we're out and about, um, the shotgun would be the best. And then come to think of it, come to think of it right now. Let's, let's go downstairs to the Jeep. What tools do I not need with me? Since it really are, we are really going to be focused on just killing zombies. Killing zombies, clearing the building, and restoring the power. I do not need that, and I do not need that with me. Um, the weapons, I'll keep on me. Uh, what else don't I need? That's about it, right? And then I've got some extra rounds right there. I'm going to throw those guys in there, too. And then I'm going to drop this food off. So I feel like I could leave those two tools uh, behind. I probably don't need the pick, either, really. Unless there's something I need to get through. I'm going to take the pick with. I'll keep the pick with me. Uh, food. Pumpkins. Now, yeah, pumpkins have been kind of tough. How am I doing? Well, okay, I take it back. We're fine on pumpkins. It's just the cheesecake, you know, it takes all that stuff to make it. It's kind of a, it's an expensive dish for sure. Let's go ahead and drink a little something. Oh, there we go. He's feeling better already. Look at him go. All right, and then we're going to eat a little something too. And oh, voila. So what you guys got going on in the background, or am I in the background for you guys? We're an hour into the stream. It is 17.15. I wasn't sure how much of the day 36 to let go by before I brought you guys in for a stream. But I feel like we probably did pretty good. Uh, we've got a little more than an hour left in the stream. It's 5 p.m., we're going to want to roll over there pretty soon to get kind of set up and ready to go. Um, and I, th I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, let's relax to this stuff. Did my drone parts stream earlier? Got like 100 or so parts. Did drone parts. Uh, be sure to get your copy before you start mission. Yeah, exactly, Morris. That's, that's what I'm leading up to, man. Um, let me... Hold on. Told you guys I'll try to have this on a little bit more when you guys were with me and stuff so we can just uh, move around the workshop without having to, uh, you know, have our headlamp on. But there we go. Let me take a little break. I'm going to go fill my coffee up and then I'll come back and we will resume. And uh, like I said, yeah, pretty soon we're going to head over there because I want to make sure I'm, I kind of want to clear the area. And then we're going to hit the reset button on that exclamation point, And then we're going to get back in. Oh, wait, before we actually take a break here, hold on. Let's go right here and let's go tier four. Let's toggle that one active. And there we go. Now we've got that active. So we're going to go take care of that next. I'll be right back. And we're back. Wasabi um, decided she wanted to sit in my room this afternoon. And uh, I got the door closed because Variety's in the other room. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Craft. 
She does not want to be in a room with the door closed. She's like, oh, I'd like to leave now. I was like, all right, you get out. Go on now. Uh, we're going to be on the market for radiators. Uh, anything brass related. I don't want to buy it. I want to find it. Buying it is just too easy. We've got the money for that, but I'd rather find it. Oh, okay. John O'Wells is talking about a different game. Back there before the break. Um, okay, I just turned this on, but I'm going to turn it off because I think we're going to head over that direction and just kind of screw around over there. Uh, it's raining again. Man, I tell you, it just rains all the time. Lots and lots of rain. Uh, we also have the ability now to put automatic doors on here, too, uh, that would work with a sensor, so um, that's something we could t consider doing. I'm going to go down this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it looks to me like I'm going to have to cut through here anyways. Never mind. Just better off taking the road, wasn't I? Can't see anything. We'll just go down this way. Mama's Justice. Coleman's Drive-In. That was fun. I enjoyed the drive-in. That was a really cool one. It's kind of fun to have one that opens something up from a long ways away, you know? Oops. Oops. Yeah, I should have just taken the road. Should have just taken the road. I'd been there by now. Oh, God. Nobody saw anything? <laughs> I know we got up right next to this here, didn't we? Where we're going in? Now, if I park right out here, am I too close to this? I don't think it's going to impact the Jeep, I've is got it? A bad feeling about this. Yeah, I saw her climb through that window. I thought that was weird, too, uh, Jezebel. Hello, Holly, where are you going? Come on out here. You, we're not supposed to be in there yet. You're, you're, you're jumping the gun, lady. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> she crawled right through that window. Oh, the skills on that woman. Whew. Uh, what have we got around it here? Let's take a look and see. Anything of interest in this area? We got a bunch. Oh, that's you making that banging sound. You're making me nervous. You don't need to be banging like that. I'm wondering if my Jeep is parked too close to the POI. I feel like it's going to impact it possibly. And I don't want that happening. I'm going to pull it around and park it at, at the corner like I had it originally. I think if I park it kind of like right about here, this, this feels better to me to have it right here. I don't think I'd leave the POI if I was right here getting into it. So I feel like that's a little bit safer spot. I just don't want something to go wrong right here if a car were to like spawn in or something and be up underneath the, the Jeep. It would go send it flying through the air. Yeah, there's no need for stop signs. Who stops for zombies, right? Exactly. All right, so this is our target. Maybe we have been in here. We got some out, outside passageways. There's quite a few shops here. Rick's Roses. I don't know if that's a Shotgun Messiah building right there or if it's just a Shotgun Messiah kind of, well, if that's just a billboard. It's in a bad spot. It looks to me like this is like four, f one, two, th three, four, 
five, six, possibly seven buildings linked together. And again, we're going to focus on just killing zombies. You know what? I've never been in this clock tower. Let's go take a look at the clock tower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang it, Jim. Let's get some wood. Some wood. I gotta think there's probably some zombies up here, maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, there's the ladder. Oh, there's another ladder. Huh, somebody was sitting up here. Oh, no, no, oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> Hold on a second. I'm not going to climb up in here. I'm just going to take that chair and do this from here because this angled roof is screwing me up. Uh, we've got some robotic parts and another chain for, yeah, this roof is uh, kind of wonky right here. Get yourself killed. And the bell. Oh, I wonder if that's, um, is that iron? What do you think? Probably so, huh? I'm just going to take and, uh, oh, I've got the, I didn't bring it with me. Uh, I'm just going to break it. Looks like we got a mechanical part out of it. Maybe I should have wrenched it. I was thinking about wrenching it, but we don't have the wrench with us right now. Uh, we're getting close, you guys. It's getting to be nighttime now. It's 7 o'clock. we still got a few hours to go. Uh, we are actually going into that one right there. You know what? I'm going to back this up. The headlights are on in this. If we have this on with the headlights on, that should help us light up the buildings a little bit. With the headlights on like that tonight, that could be cool. Special tots. Let's go kick in this door just for the heck of it. While we're standing here waiting for something to happen. He did not hear that. I'm shocked. Oh, come on. Master, we are not alone. I think we're alone now. Barrel! Oof, he was coming quick. Must be the principal's office. <laughs> right? Administration! Eighteen fifty-five. We'll just go through some of this and rummage through a little bit of it. You know, killing some time here while we're waiting to do some terrifying mission for Joel at night in the dark when the zombies run. <sighs> terrifying. I scare easy. First one to admit that. I'll wind up waking up everybody in this school is what I'm going to wind up doing, huh? We've got a couple. I've got an army guy and a yeah hazmat dude coming down the stairs here. Lunch lady's room. Nobody here. Food. See, this is what we're going to have tonight. We got we got somebody outside banging on something right now. Somebody's out here in the play. It's Billy. It's always the bully. School speed limit 25 on school days when children are present. Really, 25? That's like 15 over. Right? It, in my neck of the woods, it's 15 miles per hour when school's in session. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 15. 15. What's it for you guys? Uh, John O'Well says 10. 10 for them. Yeah. I mean, who wants to be the person that's going too fast through a, a dang school zone and run over a kid? 
Who wants to be that person? <laughs> Not this guy. Drive slow. And there we go. Right after I did those chairs. Oh, I need to put my looter glasses on. Where? Mm-hmm. I got a brewski in here. Look at there. Oh, there it is. I'm going to take that for sure. Okay. Uh, we're just kind of messing with the tots, Billy. 1919. It's 22, right? 2200 hours. That's when I can start it. Uh, it's got a, we got a little bit of time left. Sorry, guys. I guess we got over here a little too soon. A little too soon. Let's go ahead and check this. Uh, did we do that? We emptied it, right? Okay. We'll fool around in here a little bit longer. Uh, I'm not quite sure what else we could do. We've, we've been in here, right? We did the kitchen. Well, we got a little bit of food out of the kitchen, but... Sure, we'll grab that right there, too. We got staircase that some zombies came down. Looks like we've got a bunch of classrooms here, for sure. That's locked. I bet that goes outside. We've got clothing in these lockers here. Puffer coat. I'm not grabbing this stuff because I know we're going to have the other place to loot. Uh, we will look at the lockers to see if there's anything really worthwhile in here. Um, what are those worth? 130? I'll take them. We're going to get a bunch of those. You know what? Maybe I will grab that puffer coat. That puffer coat's going to be worth a little bit of money, right? We'll grab that puffer coat. WXYZ PDQ. Hello, well. It's always a little laggy in town. We talk about that every time, don't we? It just kind of happens. I bet I could clear that building, huh? Keep coming back out. I just don't want to miss the. Uh, I need all. I need the fullest. I mean, that's that's. We're gonna go through all of this right here. This entire block right here. It, that's a lot of building to go through. And I have to have it done by 4 a.m. Oh, right in the sternum. Oh, she oh. Ugh, she finally fell over. Oh, it was like it was to the throat. It's a shot to the throat. Shot to the throat. Let's get back up here. We're we're killing time. It's gonna be twenty hundred. Uh, we still have time before anything's going to even happen around here. Take the club out. Oh, that's interesting. There's a room over there. Locked. Got an elevator here. Nice, uh, nice shirt. My senses have picked up something. Yeah. Oh, biker boy. He's feral too. dude was uh, moving pretty quick there. <laughs> he was running very quickly. Ooh. I can't resist. There might be an acid in there. There was not an acid. There was no acid in that thing. Some kid. Get his backpack up in there. There's another vitamin. A vitamin? This is a great place to come and find your glasses too. Oh, I'll take that trophy. I know trophies are we it's weird, but I like the trophies now. Did did everybody come out of here already? Huh. Oh boy. Probably should not be this far into this, huh? What time is it? 
2006. I got two hours. This is, this is going to be over with before I even get to this. Let's go back out. Leave those there. I th think I could drop down right here. Was this where I was? Yeah, let's go downstairs. Zoom. I don't want to miss my start time on this. We've got part of this building cleared, so hopefully that'll help us out a little bit, maybe? Possibly. We'll throw a couple blocks right here. Zoink and de zoink. I was thinking blocks might be a bit of our friend tonight. We could put blocks behind us in certain doorways so things can't come in behind us. But then again, that could block our way on the way out, too. So there's that to think about. Oh, I try to prepare for these things as best I can to see if I, you know, you, you're just trying to survive and live. That's the idea, right? That's why we play survival games. Does it bother you guys when you die? bothers me a little bit when I die, every time. I try to be prepared for stuff. Uh, let's get rid of that vitamin. Maybe we should keep two on us, and then we could take another one later. I'm just going to use that water right now. A few things to sell there. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, we've got some nice items to sell. Uh, that we could scrap. You're for sale, though, and you're going to be for sale, and you're going to get scrapped. I should have taken that out of there and got the uh, paint out of it. All right, there it is, and uh, the turret. 2027. Oh, my God, it's not here yet. I remember when the mini bike was the only vehicle and you needed to get a basket for it? I do. I do remember that. I think I've been playing since... I want to say Alpha 13 or 14. It used to be, too, that if you wanted a gun, you had to find, um, like, a level 25 pistol part to go with another level 25 pistol part or something like that. And you could put them together, and you'd wind up getting a, a gun that you wanted. And then getting better guns as you went by pieces and parts. Um, but uh, that's that's all changed now. It's just the tier system. I kind of like this system. You know? God, I think we're ready for this. I really feel like I'm ready for this right now. Um, now part of me wants to take my ratchet with me. No, we're, we're clearing. We're shooting and clearing. Shooting and clearing. Shooting and clearing. It's going to be noisy. There's going to be a lot of zombies. And I think I'm going to find myself in trouble a few times. But we have Jezebel here with us. She's got a little bit of meds on us. A meds with her. And she's going to help us out. She's going to help us out with that. I'm going to put that back in there, too. I just need to pay attention. How long does this last for, anyways? Uh, 12 minutes, huh? All right, 12 minutes. We got the uh, headlights on it right now. 2,100, almost 2,100. Oh, boy. Nervous, nervous, nervous. I think the downtown area has a higher rate of... Um, spawning nighttime zombies I think it does as opposed to say where we're at where it's just the middle of nowhere I think the city areas wind up with a few more zombies that uh, spawn that get spawned in uh, while we're waiting I see a radiator over here I'm gonna go ahead and wrench it down because it seems like the right thing to do since it's sitting right here kind of a weird place for it but okay I'll take it No radiator, though. I'll grab that brass, though, too. What are these guys? Do we say, do they, like, give us a little bit of dukes? There's a, a duke in that one. Some electrical parts. There's three in that one there. It's the radiators I was kind of hoping to get. We'll just keep an eye out inside the building to see if there are some that we can grab a hold of. Once we're done raiding the place, anyways. What about the fire hydrant? What does this guy give you? A lead pipe. Not much of anything. So it kind of just gets rid of the decorations, huh? How about you, street light? What do you have? 
Mm, it's just kind of electrical, run-of-the-mill kind of stuff there, huh? I love doing that. I love wrenching things that I've never wrenched before. What What is in there? <laughs> What's in there? You are wet. Yeah, and what is new about that? We're sitting here patiently waiting. The 1 to 100 was annoying. Was that the weapon one where you had, yeah, like a level 100 weapon? And you had to, yeah. It, it got to be kind of weird. But uh, I played it. I remember playing it. God, it was before we did any makeover on the zombies and stuff. Like, you know, uh, some of the zombies I miss, the football player, I miss the cheerleader. Um, the old army guy was pretty creepy looking with a skeleton face. But I do miss those. I miss Jen, the cheerleader, and I miss the football player. I got to say, out of the zombies from the old days, those are the ones I miss the most. I always liked those two. You know, high school sweethearts. It was homecoming day. Zombie apocalypse hit. They weren't fast enough. He was tired because he had, you know, been the star of the game that night. Boom. The apocalypse got him. They're dead. Everybody's got a story, right? Everybody's got a story. Come on, 2113, let's go. Got to wait till 2200 hours, though. Oh, man. I, I, I got to tell you guys, I don't fight at night. You know that. I cower in the dark. Not at base anymore. At base, I'm fine. You know? We're safe in the base. But out here, in the wilds of the downtown area, <laughs> Zomb Love. 1900 Zomb Love. This is going to be uh, this could be a thing. We'll have to see if any zombies, uh, night spawns happen as soon as the drum rolls here. As night falls. Because you see where we are. When we're shooting, we could wake things up in there. We could wake up stuff right over there. Especially when we get down to that end. If we're shooting, which we're probably going to be, for Pete's sake. Oh, God. We're going to wake up other stuff. So they're going to be coming at us from inside and outside constantly this whole time, I think. It's all right. It's all right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. 30 minutes, which is about, uh, I don't know, just a couple minutes away. Time goes by pretty fast in seven days to die. So thank you so much for watching the series. You guys have been really great. I appreciate everybody here and, and the stream and then on YouTube as well. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, first time ever doing it. So here we are. We're day 36. For some reason, I was thinking we were going to get through another seven days this week. We're not. We're going to get through maybe five days this week. But uh, we're going to try to have these uh, daily. Uh, seven days to die. So we get to the 49-day mark. I'm kind of eager to get there. We'll work on the base some more. I think days 39, 40, 41, we'll probably do some more base work and get um, get the place painted and looking nice so that on our you know, last seven days, the whole place is kind of decorated and, and looking nice, something like that. What's after day 49? I don't know. I don't know. I'll take suggestions all day long. I don't know what I'm going to do after day 49. I just wanted to be able to say I did it on the game because I've understood that day 49 is as tough as the horde gets. It may, that may not be the case with me because I'm more of a builder than I am a fighter, I guess, and uh, the jobs and stuff. Uh, so if you look here, we're level 65. I don't know what these things mean. Level 65, game stage 120. 70, I think, is the highest we can go, correct? Is 70 or is it 75? Don't know. I have 2,800 zombie kills, which is probably not as high as most people would have at this point in time in the game. I've got three points available to me. <clears throat> Maybe we should look at uh, heavy armor. We just finished that one up, didn't we? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Pummel Pete. Uh, we could do Pummel Pete. Get that one uh, upgraded. I don't think there's anything in Fortitude we wanted to work on. Pain Tolerance is up there. Cardio, maybe? Machine Gunner. Oh, I don't have my Machine Gun glasses on, so I'm losing a little bit of vigorous health. What is this? That's two points. So I could buy that, we'd be there, but I don't know. I don't know. The shotgun seems to work just great, as does the Machine Gun for me. Better Barter. Uh, better Barter wouldn't be bad. The Daring Adventure, again, this would help us out with our rewards. 
but I think better barter would be a better one <laughs> for us to go into. We need to be intellect level 10, we're at seven. Uh, we need four points just to get, right? No, wait, what do we need here? We need two, uh, that's five, six, seven, eight. Eight more points just to get to that. It seems kind of outrageous. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You ready to come and uh, do some nighttime zombie slaying with me? Restore power. And 56, 57, 58, 8, 8, 8, 8. I think it's five seconds for every second. Or every minute, I should say. Here we go. Drum roll, please. All right, here we go. I'm not being sneaky or anything else. I'm going for it. Uh, okay, how are we supposed to get in here? Is it through here? I don't see a light that actually shows me how to get in here. It was sitting right in front of that door, so I'm assuming we go in this way. Well, that's not fair. How am I supposed to get in? Where's my light that's supposed to show me a way in? Right here? Master, Just we are not alone. Where is he? Okay, we'll fall back to this location here. Sounds like somebody's stuck in here. Oh! Watch it, Mr. Jumpy Pants. Got a back door. Let's go grab our turret. No, I'm gonna turn my headlamp on too so you guys can see. He must have been here in the bathroom making all that noise. Okay, he's no longer activated with me there. Here comes Buster Brown. He's running the Miracle Mile here. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Oh god, they're in already. Oh. I'm in trouble. Victoria, no, don't hit me again. Okay, we woke them all up. Not a good start. Let's use that. Ooh, might be in trouble. I think so. That was a lot of zombies coming real fast. Uh, I need my medical kit. Uh, in here. All 
Alright. Oh, that was, uh, that was brutal. Not a good start. Uh, I believe I'm infected and my leg is broken. Out to the jeep we go. Uh, and that's gonna be through here. I can't hardly move because my leg is busted. Yeah, tier four, man. It's a lot of zombies. We'll try to go out the way we got in. Uh, I'm going to take this out. Okay, we got one. We are not alone. Yeah, I see her. It's Lucy. She's coming. <laughs> it's crazy. Very different than during the day, of course. Going to be tough with a broken leg. Yes, it is going to be tough. Hopefully, I've got a cast in the Jeep. If, if we walk, we could be okay, maybe. But it's, yeah, it's going to be pretty tough. That was a lot of zombies all at once that came in and got me. I was quite surprised by them, as you could tell. I knew there'd be zombies, but I just didn't know there'd be that many zombies. Let's go ahead and use that. And I've got some honey. There we go. We should be good now. Let's go ahead and drink a little something. Take care of everything here real quick. Okay. We're a little bit better. I feel like all the zombies that were in the area already came. You know? Yeah, we had everybody from over here come over here already. There's nothing in this room here, so I think we're good there. Um, oh, that's her. Halt. That's uh, the drone making noise. Okay, we've got a back door here, which is what I opened, right? I can feel like this. all this does is open up a doorway for them to come through and come and get me. <laughs> uh, upstairs on this thing here. I feel like we got them all out of here, too, possibly. Maybe so? Let's grab uh, the turret and we'll set him up here in this area since we know this area is clear of zombies. We can fall back. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Here he comes. Thank you, Jezebel. Um, okay, so I feel like if I go, I feel like the next row, next, next load of them is going to maybe come from this direction here, possibly. That was our next load. They touched me once. We'll just keep walking. We'll be all right. We'll be. We'll just walk. <laughs> we walk from here. Uh, I'm curious up here. 
if there's anybody up on this floor before I go down the other side, I'd rather make sure I got all the buildings behind me cleared out. This looks like it could have a group of them up here. Do we come? Okay, we've got a okay savage country. Maybe we've already woke up everybody on My this. My senses have picked up something. You know what's nice about the shotgun is they stop running. They stop the running. Nobody likes the runners. That's locked. Ooh, I'm gonna look at this for ammo sake. <sighs> Arrowheads. All right, I'm gonna go back down and grab uh, the turret and come up this way with it. Where did I where did I leave my oh, I've got it in my pocket. It's in my pocket. Let's go ahead and repair it. I wish I was better equipped with this thing. This is a little slow for us. I did that already, huh? Okay, this came up from the other side. This is where we were down here. We, we actually cleared this out. Oh, oh, careful. Don't jump too much. So I think we were good to go this way. What do I do? I don't feel like this one had a very clear path marked out on it. Time is ticking. Thanks for making me nervous. I know. I'm trying to figure out how I'm where I'm supposed to go next here. It pushed me up to here. Was there is this elevator something I can get into? It is, okay. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize that. I thought that was just partially open. How are you supposed to get up there? Keep hitting me. Did my, uh, okay, my infection is going down. Time is ticking. Where are they going to come from? When they come after me, where are they going to come from? There's a door right there, huh? I can see right there that switch is going to come on once I do this. I know that's what I'm doing. I'm turning these things on. Okay, 16. Oh. Make sure my shotgun's in my hand, so if i got to break away, at least i got something to shoot. We're getting one of the generators. Uh, I think this is the only one we have to do, huh? Okay, we did that. That's locked still. Purified water. I'm going to sip me a jug of that purified water. Now we just have to clear the area, right? Medical. Nice. I'll take that. Okay, so this door is what opens next. So this is where our next pile of crap is going to be coming from.
I see a door over here, and I see a board over here. I'm putting you... Right here. That's locked. I think that's what I'm supposed to do next, is that? Where's this door go over here? We've got another drop down here, too. I, I don't know which one I'm supposed to do. They're, they're both here. Um, okay, this is the other door. It opened two doors, one here and one over there. So we're we supposed to do both of them? Possibly, huh? My senses have picked up something. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Misfire. Spinning my head quickly. Misfire. It's my fault. I did that. It's locked. Oh, don't punch nothing. Oh, jeez. So, okay, this was... Me too. Me too, Jezebel. <gasps> oh, I'm slipping right through that. Oh, here she comes. Here comes Holly. Look at Holly. Oh, she fell. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay. Come on up here, Holly. There you go. Oh, oh, she, she died. Okay. That was it there. It's 1 a.m. We need to keep moving. Um, I'm, uh, I don't know which way to go. They've got multiple paths here, and it's confusing to me. I just need to clear the zombies, right? That's what I need to do, is clear the zombies. So I'm looking for anything that's got a zombie in it. Uh, that one's probably done up here. It looks to me like that's finished. So I'm going to go up on this roof here and see if there's anything up there. There's the yellow ladder down there. Where is my... Tr it's in my pocket. Okay. Oh, that's the Jenny. Okay, so we did this already. I need to go... Up here? Send help. Buzzards are right there. I just want my arrow back if that's what I need. We'll switch a quick toolbox. There we go. Okay, so it looks like I gotta go down that yellow one. Give these zombies a taste of your lead. Hold down E. Uh... Did I put my turret right up at the top of this? And I, it's in my pocket again. It's in my hands. Where is that? Okay, we got to go down that yellow one. There's a yellow ladder that I think we're supposed to go down. We've got the Jenny already taken care of. We just need to finish killing off the zombies. We're in a kitchen area now. Oh, 
Oh, this is the this is the this is the loot room right here, baby. Here, crawler. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. You like how I walked right in front of my turret? That's it. Did it. Success. Near death experience at the beginning, but we did it. First thing I want to check is this here toilet. Mm hmm, because it's bound to have some paper in it, because I got to wipe my tears. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> the recipe for corn? What? Okay, so we're going to, if anything's going to come in at me, it's going to be coming that direction. And I'm going to go ahead and drop you right there and you right there. Well, hold on. Let's first see if we've got anything in here. We're going to go through the big loot boxes. We got that taken care of, so that is a successful restore power. Uh, rough start, but we, we came through it in the end. Not too shabby. I mean, it wasn't too rough, really. At the very beginning there, I thought, God, broken leg. Am I really going to keep going? Heck yeah, you keep going. You keep trudging along. You don't give up. Let's check in here. There's a chicken right there. <laughs> What's the chicken doing in here? Yeah. Okay, we got it. All right, let's let's check the big loot. That's what I'm most interested in today is the big loot. Uh, all right, so we've got our turret there. Where is the jeep parked at? Um, over there, huh? I wonder if there's an easy way to get to that. Let's see. That's five thousand hit points. That ain't worth it. Um, this is bulletproof glass. That's not going to be worth it either. That's three thousand. All right, so. What's my easiest way to get to my Jeep? I was kind of hoping there was going to be a door someplace around here that I could get through. Let's see what happens if I bust this block out of this wall. I guess the window would be cheaper to do this in. It's only 3,000 hit points. Can't get a reward until the sun comes up anyway, so. Uh, we had a couple hours to spare. Well, this would be perfect, man. <laughs> this would be ideal. We're going to take the time to break these blocks out. The Jeep is right there. John of Wales says, nice work, soldier. Now on to the next fight. Exactly. We did it. We turned the power on. Uh, I thought maybe there'd be an extra one of those... Um, Jenny's we would have to turn on, but that was the big one, so it looks like it's just the one. Maybe sometimes there is two. There we go, and I can put my block here. There we go, and I can put a block right here. One right there, and up and down we go. Let's get the Jeep down here. We can't run, of course, still. I didn't even look to see if anyone's roaming on the street. It's so bright out here. I kind of assumed that, uh, well, I forgot that it was nighttime. And this chicken is out at night. You need to stop making so much noise. 
scrap that. Uh, grab that. Thumb me, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are good things. Yeah, we like that stuff. There we go. And a bandage. And sure, we'll put the glass in there for now, too. All right, we also need a jailbreaker candy. And one lockpick. Oh, careful. Don't hurt your leg. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy like. There we go. Is there anything to snack on in here? Glass. Ooh. It's level six wrench right there. What's that, what's that sucker worth? Let's repair him. I bet he's worth a pretty good amount of money. 728. That's not too shabby, huh? I don't want that stuff. All right. Wow, look at all this loot sitting here. 52 762s. Nice. Give it to. Oh, I thought that was two different piles. Misleading. <laughs> what the heck, dude? She keeps banging around. You, I, I think you guys can hear that, right? Is the big box worth of loot candy? I don't know. Maybe so. Uh, maybe, yeah, one of those eye candies? Huh? I heard somebody just take damage. Uh, that is nice. Ooh, the weighted head mod. Um, I think... Oh, he won't go on there. That's too bad. Hmm. I've got the weighted head mod on there. What else was I thinking about? Yeah, I, it doesn't matter. Okay, I thought I could put... The weighted head mod maybe on the turret. That way, when it it hit, it would give it a bit of a punch and knock him down. But it doesn't look like that's the case. All right, so we've got the nice big box here we need. Oh, there we go. Look at that. A little something to eat there. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and drink a little something. We'll eat that hobo stew. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Uh, eye candy, right? Yeah, maybe that. Maybe it would be worth an eye candy. It's, it is the big box. Um, I went out this way. Right. Master, we are not alone. What? What do you mean we're not alone? Keanu. He's trying to come in and rain him up parade. Eye candy. There it is, right there. And we will drop, drop. Drop, drop all this stuff back in there again. Very nice. Oh, not you. Uh, level 6 wrench. Well, it's got to go in our level 6 chest. Uh, okay, so we've got eye candy. Eye candy and the lucky loot, the lucky, the, the jailbreaker. So let's go ahead and do both those guys. Uh, we got some meds here too. I'm going to eat that candy first. Let's use that. Use this one too. Go ahead and check the medical supplies. Why the heck not? There's a med kit in there. That's nice to see. I've not found many of those, to be honest with you. The med kits. You know that? I think what I need to do the sledge turret. Oh, one good one, cannibal. I think maybe that's where I talked about putting that weighted head mod, huh? Into that one. Yes. Okay. That makes more sense now. The sledge is the one that I'll put the weighted head mod into. Ooh, a level six. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that right there, baby. Another beaker cell. Uh, that was, uh, that is a really cool find right there. A level six robotic sledge. We'll put that one out and have that one doing it. What's that thing worth anyways? 1,400, 1,400 dukes. That's pretty good, huh? That was worth, uh, that was worth opening that with the candy, I think. Does that work with the rest of the... Oh, there's an acid. I wonder if that works with the rest of the stuff, too. It just does, doesn't it? Uh, do we have our turret? Oh, we do. All right, let's go, let's go ahead and start walking our way back. My leg is starting to feel a little bit better, so I don't want to jinx it. Let's just uh, take it easy. Oh, tin can. I don't know that we're going to do such a great search job in this place. Although we should probably leave just about everything, huh? We've got... This 
somebody out front walking around. Take some dukes. My leg's still bugging me. Ugh, I don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> She's like, oh, thank you. Thank you, radio. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey there, chunky man. There we go. This guy is worth wrenching. Uh, yeah, Chase Bank, it wasn't bad for a level 4 mission, and at night. I'm a little surprised. I don't like going out at night in the game. I do not. I wish I had gone a little bit further in on the day so we didn't have to end at this moment, because it'd be nice to see what we actually wind up loot-wise out of here. But we got the main stuff, so uh, when the stream ends, you didn't miss too much of anything. We got the, we got all the all the good stuff. The big stuff. Don't need that. I'm gonna scrap that. I'm gonna scrap those. Drop that piece of rotten flesh. I can hear the generator still burning. It's running like crazy down here. I think we looted the, the gun stuff and st the, the shotgun messiah. I believe we did. Empty trash. Yeah, we did. Uh, I guess we did loot a couple of things, huh? <sighs> oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Cornmeal? What? Oh, that's good. I like that. Chase wants to know if we go collect the reward real fast. Sure, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, extend the uh, stream, and we'll go get our reward. I'll take you guys with to get the reward. That makes sense. Yeah, that kind of completes the mission, right? Get the reward. We'll take you guys with. We'll keep going until we get to that point. Nothing here. Look at that register. For some reason, it's screaming at me. Dukes? No Dukes. No Dukes in it. Yeah, this is the little blue basket you used to have for the mini bike right here. It was the only vehicle in the game, and you had to have that little basket. And you'd have to go off searching for that little basket and find him. And when you did, you were like, oh, it's the blue basket. Oh my god, I got a mini bike. And you put the blue basket on the mini bike and off you'd go and you're just the happiest kid in the world. <laughs> Corn seed. No thank you. That looks like never mind. Um hmm. I thought there were some uh, other things that we didn't there were some more boxes someplace. In in this warehouse somewhere there's some more boxes I think. Did we we didn't go through there. We can't get through there either, so this is where we... Uh, my leg is healed. My leg is healed. I'm fine. I'm wondering, do I have anything that I would like to drop this fortifying grit when health is below 50%, gain one hit point every five seconds? You've got three in you already. You're all booked up. Hmm. Okay, so that's all taken care of there. I don't know if there's any place I can actually put that at the moment. Uh, if anything else, we can put it in something we're selling, right? We can certainly do that. Wow, that's some good looking stuff right there, man. I'm, I'm pretty happy I made it through the night. Good morning, apocalyptic survivors. We have survived our first level four mission. 
did it. A nighttime mission at that. I'm pretty happy about that. Never done that before, so thanks for being here with me. That's that's my first time doing a night mission ever for Restore Power. There's another beautiful basket, the red basket. I think there's more vehicle customization coming to the game, right? Where you can do things with the vehicles to customize them. And I know they've worked really hard on getting it so you can have passengers and stuff. Which, we can have passengers now. But I know that was always the thing. Master, we are not alone. My goodness, Holly, where were you coming from? <laughs> she was going fast. I'm Holly, and I run real fast. She does run really fast. Murky water, please. I would appreciate it very much. I used up most of our murky water to make glue. Oh. Pete? I feel like they know we're here. Oh, there's Billy. There's Billy. I could hear the clip-clop of his feet. <laughs> there's a, I forgot there's quite a large hole in the wall there. A headlight. There was a headlight in the toilet stall. Somebody had been shopping to make repairs to their vehicle before the apocalypse hit. Bam. They were caught on the toilet, and they did not survive the attack. Uh, I feel like I'm good here. There's a little bit of cobble laying around here. I keep hitting control and crouching instead of... Because in Minecraft, control is run. And in this game, control is crouch. Where shift is crouch in Minecraft. Mm-hmm. You see where my confusion lies. Right there. That's where it lies. Shovel? Uh, oh, it's in the truck, huh? Never mind. Never mind. It's not that big a deal. It's just a little bit of cobble. We're kind of done with cobble. Can I wrench this stuff here? That's cool. I hope they give us fluorescent lights like that. That would be pretty awesome. I would love that. I can't believe I did it. That's just amazing to me. I'm so happy about that. Did I did I miss anything? I'm sure I did, right? I mean, this this particular POI didn't seem to have a real. I, I, I maybe I was off at the very beginning. I always tend to want to blame myself for not having um, something done the right way here because I just feel like oh, I I didn't go the right way, but I don't know. I feel like the directions here weren't all that fantastic. You could go either way. But you had to remember how to backtrack to get through stuff. Look at this place back here. This is cool. Oh my god. I didn't even notice this back here. Look at this. Oh, we got a whole other uh, thing here. Yeah, they were camping right here, weren't they? Look at this. We got I, I didn't even realize that. There's sleeping bags, there's a grill sitting over there. They had some puny little wood spikes on the ground over there. Cannibal says he reset his keybinds to one layout for all these kinds of games. That's probably a really good idea. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a good idea. Not much there. If you don't know, you can actually make those water fountains, or you can buy these water fountains to have in your place. Does anybody drink out of water fountains anymore? Are they even a thing? It's like payphones. Payphones? I don't know the last time I saw a payphone. You guys know? What about for you in your area? Like here, I, I I don't know where I would go to find a payphone if I needed a payphone to make a call. I just don't know where I'd be. These carts are always good to to stick your grubby mitts into. 
Uh, oh, here's the uh, here's the savage. We we did search a lot of this stuff. We're gonna go through it here. We're we're just I'm just kind of ricocheting around the room here. That's all I'm doing. Savage country. Do you give me a hole to the roof? Don't you love the fact that you can interact with that and actually take it apart? Like this dummy, I could do something with that. There's a pants rack here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I've got too much stuff. All right, I'm going to drop you. I'm going to use that. I'm going to scrap that. I'm going to scrap that. Let's modify. Let's take this. And I can take that. And I can scrap it. Modify modify again the red die can come out I want to keep this I should have done this with the other ones modify take that out scrap that these boots are worth 65 bucks uh, let's just complete that what are you worth 52 52 scrap that uh, we'll scrap that you're worth 65 all right sure why not I'll take those pants and sell them to Joel <coughs> Joel's got a girlfriend that likes those kind of pants <laughs> I think they're obsolete. Wow, I just found a whole bunch of those pants, didn't I? Another pair of another pair of them. Anything in this here? You can just break that, huh? Two sewing kits. Scrap that. I don't think I can actually. I'm gonna. Scrap the. Oh, those are worth 52. I'll drop that clay and I'm going to drop that paper. This is taking a little longer than I thought. Scrap, modify, pink dye, and scrap. Uh, that's an awful lot of those pants. He's only going to take a few pairs from me, right? He's only going to take a few pairs of those. I don't know if it's worth keeping those, to, to be honest with you. I really don't know. 50 bucks, 50 bucks, you know. Uh, it's it's money. Uh, here's some more shoes. Jeez. That's the thing about that Savage Country Store. When you go in there, um, you get a lot of clothes. I think Variety did one. And she and I did one once where we had like four or five chests worth of clothes sitting out in the uh, parking lot. Because there's just so many clothes in there. But to be honest, if you did a Savage Country at the very beginning, you could start selling that stuff early and have, um, you know, I, I guess make some make some quick money. I think I got all this. I did. Okay. All right. We got that one. What was in here? This was, um, what was this place? This is the Shotgun Messiah. Okay, and I thought I'd check this for ammunition, right? Yeah, I did. I already checked this one. It's got nothing. You know what I also didn't see is a lot of radiators. And these vents don't seem to be, they're not, they don't seem to give me um, the radiators that I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? They don't give me the radiators in there. Uh, we're at 5.30 in the morning. Is there anything else I needed to do here? I'm real sure I didn't go back through the place. Oh, look at this. This is our um, electronics store. We never did get in here. Polymer. Oh, well, here's something. Don't you worry, Jezebel. I got a shotgun. We're going to be just fine. She's downstairs banging on the wall. 
Uh, how do I get down there quickly? I think I'm done in here. I don't know that I want to really do any more in here. I made it. Uh, oh, um. Oh, you're only, okay, let's scrap those. You're worth 65. I'm going to scrap one of these pairs of pants, too. He's only going to buy three pairs from me. I need to modify that, take that die out, and actually scrap that. We'll sell all that crap to him when we get there. Oh, here we go. No? Not down? Okay, we got to go around and down. I think I got most of it. A lot of it. Where is she? Oh, here she comes. My senses have picked up something. Yep. We got it. Don't you worry, Jezebel. It's all taken care of. Alright, let's head over to Joel. And see what kind of prize he gives us for that uh, accomplishment there. No way to get around. I squeeze through here. Here he is, he's trying to cheat the way back home. I want to get myself stuck in some back road. And off we go. Woohoo! Ho ho! Oh my gosh, that's nice. I like that. That's a fun little street. Whoa. Her sensors always pick up on something when they've been shot in the face at least once. It doesn't seem that way, doesn't it? Sometimes she's a little late with her warnings. Um, yeah, there was a moment there where I thought I was going to die. Uh, the shotgun emptied and uh, I was fumbling with the reloading. We had a few big guys right there in my face. We need to... Oh, this is this open yet? Is it 6 or 7 o'clock it opens? It's open. Awesome. Okay, well, this is probably going to be worth it. Let's figure out what we're going to sell here. Let's go ahead and go through here. We're going to need a sugar butt. And we're going to take a pumpkin cheesecake with us, too, because that's going to be a good thing to have. And we're going to put everything we're going to sell down here. That's for sale. That's for sale. And let's modify this and take that paint out of there and scrap it. Uh, complete. All right, so you're for sale. You're for sale. You. Let's get things organized in your inventory so we're not accidentally doing the wrong thing here. Sell, sell. Put this stuff in the Jeep. I'll sell you and I'll sell you. Okay, there we go. Let's go back into the Jeep's inventory now. We need you and you. Uh, you. We could sell all of that. We'll keep that. Sell. Um, do the coffee beans sell? No, sell price. Okay. I was going to say, well, we could, Fort Bites, we could sell those. I don't need that. Uh, robotic parts. I'm going to sell those because there's nothing I could do with them. Um, I can't make decent robots, so there's no point in me keeping those. I think that's everything. Let's grab our dukes. Uh, I don't think his inventory changes today. I don't. 
I, I believe it's just the same old, same old. Well, maybe it, maybe it did. I don't know. Let's see. What's in here? Uh, jailbreakers. We'll buy those. Okay, this has changed. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, no Brockbusters, unfortunately. Maybe his stock changes on day 37? You've made my day. Yeah, day 37. So he just changed his um, his inventory. Uh, 25 Flaming Arrows. The Fish Taco Recipe. A 44 Magnum Level 4 or 5 First Aid Bandages. That's worth 12.89 when I sell it back. At least if that's what it says it is at the moment. Metal Spikes mod. Got that. Don't need it. Don't want those. Fish Taco Recipe. Nope. I want the money. We're going to complete that. And then may I see, let's see, tab. I want to go ahead and use you. And where's my piece of cheesecake? Ah, delicious cheesecake, indeed. All right, sir. Let me see what you got here. We're going to sell that. Sell. 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 Yeah, he'll only buy three pairs of pants from you. Like those shoes. He might... No, he still took the boots. That's good. There's a 44 Magnum. Now, we've got a level 3 at home. Maybe we should keep the 4. Eh, I don't know. Do I need to keep it? Do I need to keep the 44 Magnum? I've got rounds for it. I probably should keep it, right? Sell the level 3. Keep Thanks the level 4. Here. Yeah, Come Joel. Yeah, um, did I have any, I don't have anything in you. I keep forgetting I have her and she has storage. Let's go home and get that other gun before our candy wears off. Set this up on some kind of a sensor so both these doors open for us. We'll have to see if we can get to that. It's nice being, knowing I can actually make those. It is a pleasure to serve. Oh, um, never mind. Sorry, I accidentally clicked on you. <laughs> Let's go get that level three. Uh, yeah, I thought so. All right, let's put that level four in there. We'll take and we'll sell that level three right there. We could sell that off and that off too. And you know what? Come to think of it, let's sell that, 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 that. Yeah. We're going to sell that, those, that, 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 that. Shoot, let's sell everything. Everything's got to go. Everything must go. We've got the candy and the pie. Let's do it. Don't roll too far, Jeep. Okay, Joel, I got some more stuff. I've got plenty of time, but, you know, I rush because time is involved. Let's go ahead and sell that. 805. Six gold nuggets will get me 1100. That's worth 15. Uh, you are worth 1200. 997, 997, 997. That's one thing. Well, I don't know why I'm trying to do multiples. I got rid of those guys, and those are rifle parts. Don't need them. Should have put a. I should have put a mod on that before I sold it, but I didn't. We're up to wow. Is that right? Exactly 20,000, 40,000 dukes. Oh. We got two stacks plus a little bit more in there. Holy moly. What's he got? Anything new? Urban Combat Volume 7. Great Heist. I'm going to buy that. And I'm going to buy that.
What's he got for solars? He's got a solar cell tier five for 42,000. I mean, look at that. Look how much that's going to be. 42,000. It's outrageous. It's expensive. Robotic turret schematic. Doesn't matter. I won't be able to make a good level one anyways. We have one, so I'm not going to bother to buy that because it's just a waste of money. What else do you have in your regular uh, old stuff here? Uh, we're looking for machine gun parts for sure. Uh, looks like maybe we'll go... Oh, machine gun parts. There we go. Let's grab those guys up. Awesome. Thank you, Joel, for that one. That's fantastic. How about here? Did you have any in here? No. Okay. Oh, there's an auto shotgun level 2. Be holding out for a little be better one than that, hopefully. All right. I feel like that was a pretty good... Gratitude. And safe travels, friend. Thanks, Joel. Do you have what kind of missions do you have now? We're still tier four, huh? Oh, clear zombies, clear. Uh, if I do one more, we should get to tier five, and that's what I want to. I want us to do at least one big tier five before we reach the forty-nine days. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab. What is this one? I have a dilemma. That's the downtown strip. Okay, maybe next time. Safe travels, friend. Friend, I'm in trouble. Downtown well, Strip. Yeah, we'll just we'll take God it. Speed. Okay, we'll take that one and we'll do that one next. Maybe that'll get us through the rest of what is uh, Tier 4 missions. Maybe. But I think day, the rest of today, what we'll do is... Um, I get the forges fired up again, so everything's cooking. But maybe we'll run off and go check on the traders and see what they have for sale. Yeehaw! Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up. Thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.